as you know, we don't have an RV yet, but I'm trying to build us a little camper here, so I'm going to show it to you 10 minutes at a time. Hope you enjoy what you're about to see, and hope this doesn't end up to be me. Well, good morning. Hey, it's cloudy. Will, will it rain? Will it not? We'll find out in a minute <laughs> when I go outside. Hey, uh, I bought this on the internet for 16 bucks. I thought I was just getting part of it. I got the whole kit. I don't know what I'm going to use some of the stuff for because it ain't going to go where I want it to go. But I got to do some welding on it. I'm going to do that right now. Let's see if I weld good enough to show you. Hang on there. Here comes 60 seconds. Well, this is what we're working on right now. I told you I'd show you my welding. If it was good, it's not. So that's all you're going to get to see. But I got that welded in there the way I want it. Now we got to do this. <laughs> I think we can tip you up a little bit here. Get you set up right there, right there. Hang on there. We got the tri <laughs> tripod to go on here. We do. Let's see what happens. Thank you, Ziggy. Keep it rocking. These are welded in. You've seen that? Kinda. <laughs> My plate is made. It's got paint on it. Just letting that dry. Uh, well, what this is going to be for is pretty simple. It holds the wheel on the, the to the uh, trailer out there. So that's what it's going to do. If it ain't raining, we're going to put this on. But it may keep on raining. Let's see if it breaks its pattern. Well, we uh, went to fit, put this on naturally. There's a little bolt sticking out about there. I don't want to take any bolts off. I'll show you that in just a second. So I'm just going to make a little divot here so the little uh, head of the bolt will fit in there. And I will show you where this goes in just a few seconds. Hang in here. I got a drill. That's nice. Hey, here's what we're doing. I got one pilot hole uh, drill there. I got a hole drill, drill there. These are the bolts. I had to notch out four that are holding this main support in and this is going to hang up on there right now I'm going to go in there and stick a bolt through that this one and see if we can line it up and get everything the way I want it before I drill any more <laughs> let's give that a try that's going to be difficult with one person maybe I can get the helper to come out now, when I say she don't like to come out of the house, I don't blame her. It's a nice house, and she works hard in there. So, don't think I'm ragging on her. She does come out here anytime I need her. There's uh, 60 seconds. Let's see what we can get done in the next 60 seconds. Well, there's a test fit. I haven't tried to open the door yet, but I should have plenty of room. Matter of fact... <laughs> I put it... Put it on there plenty high, didn't I? Holy smokes, let's see if that works. Yeah, as you, right as you can see, I've only got three bolts holding that right now. I screwed up. That was supposed to be down a little further, but it is going to work fine. going to work fine if you can see it. There we go. I got plenty of clearance underneath there. 
So uh, that'll be okay. Sure as heck ain't gonna undo it and move it down and have holes exposed. But that's, uh, it's gonna work. So, well, I think good. most of you guys know me well enough. I can't leave nothing alone if it ain't perfect. And now it is. It's back here where I wanted it. It is not quite as heavy as it was when it was up higher. But, uh, let me shut this door. Because it's heavy enough that the door will come down on its own now. But there you go. That's mounted that way. Now I'll finish. But what I did, I just turned to flip-flop the brace up. This is how I had measured the dang thing to begin with. And then, uh, oh well. It's, uh, there it is. What can I say? Well, that's what she looks like right now. She's done. Uh, that'll work. I was going to put all them bolts in, and I started thinking, my God, I don't need that many bolts. Uh, six, six of those, seven, six, uh, five, seven sixteenths bolts, I guess they are. They're going to hold it. There's the plate I made. That's going to brace up on everything here. Apparently my stripe wasn't in the middle of the door. Uh, matter of fact, that looks a little crooked. Who knows? Who cares? It's going to hold it. That plate is going to hold it very good. Uh, I'm waiting for the missus to come out here. She's going to hold a wrench, and I'm just going to cinch them down just a little bit more. But all in all, it's going to work out great, I think. That door is uh, good enough. You can drive the Harley on here without a, without a bend in it, and just perfect. So it's going to hold that tire going up and down like this with that big brace on the back. It'll be fine. So uh, we're going to call that uh, that part done. We'll show you what it looks like with the tire on. Well, she's all done except for the cover. Got to find me a cover. I don't know what kind of cover to put on there. You guys got any ideas? I'll probably have one on here before you even see this video. But if you got an idea and I don't have it on here yet, let me know. I don't know if I want a Harley Davidson one, a funny one, a patriotic one, or a white one. Anyway, we'll get a cover for it. This is done. Vicky came out. We snugged all the bolts down. That project's done. Well, you've seen the tire. You've seen this. Uh, yeah, it did fit. Uh, where I, whether or not I want to fire it up in there or not, I doubt it. So I'm going to leave that gas connection down there and just pull that right through there. See how it pulls through here? This would be where I can I can set this thing up here if I wanted to. Or we got it set up so we can have a little cook stove here right in this area. And then Vicky's going to put just a little wash tub, a little plastic wash tub, go right there. And then when she gets done, she just throws the water out the, the door because it's just going to be gray water for, uh, you know, washing your hands or uh, have it in here to make, uh, wash the utensils, the forks, knives. We use paper plates and all. But uh, then the wiring's still going to come through here. Haven't got that. That's ordered. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do with the roof. I haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, we did order a something that goes on this side uh, <laughs> And I just measured it gonna have to modify it a little bit because it's a little we'll figure that out You know figure that out. And I'm glad I masked everything off. So it may have left a nice clean edge see pull the tape off and just, Yeah, yeah nice Nice I could have done better than that by just using a brush uh, Oh well uh, the wood, the, the top may come down to here. I don't know. There's one of my wires. i got to figure out where that is. But that's it for today. We're going to call this the end of this video. Uh, we got the tire put on. You've seen that. I've got my holes put where Vicky wanted everything. Uh, wires on its way. Other stuff's on its way. But that's, I think, all we can do. I don't think I'm going to do the floor yet. There's no reason. I still got to go back here and paint. And I'm going to have to wait a while on that paint. Yes, got to wait for the check. So, that's it. I think that turned out okay. And uh, once I get the wiring in there, some uh, you'll see what that's going to be kind of cool. If I can build it the way I want to build it. 
And uh, what I got coming over there is kind of cool. The whole thing's going to be kind of cool. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Make sure you uh, click on the uh, playlist because it'll have all of these videos. If you don't want to watch this one at a time or you missed one, you can go down to the playlist, pull them up, and it'll have all the ones for just this build in one playlist. Thanks, guys. As always. Thank you so much for watching my video. Hey, you know what to do. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. I really read every one of them. And you know what else you can do? Hey, I'll see you in 48 hours. Thanks.